Welcome to Quantitative Reasoning Solution section and today we have Quantitative Reasoning from Lantern Step, Book 6, page 55. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more Quantitative Reasoning Solutions and Mathematics Problems. And to our subscribers, thank you for staying with us. Alright, so 55 of uh, Lantern Step Book 6 was a request from someone in the comment section, right? So here we have 2, 5, 6 and a half. And for this example, we have 40, 50, 55. And here we have 12, 18 and 21. All right, so we're going to be working through this. So let's work with the second and the third example. So here to find... 40. Please, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe to this channel, right? So to find 40 here, we're going to have 55 minus 50 here. That gives us 5. Okay, so 5 times, we're introducing 2, number 2. So an imaginary 2, number 2. So we're going to multiply this 5 we've gotten by 2 and we have 10 okay so here we have our 10 we're going to go back 50 here minus 10 that gives us 40 right so to find 55 we have 50 here minus 40 equals 10 10 here divided by 2 remember there was an introduction of 2 here but here we multiplied so here we're going to be dividing that gives us 5 right so 50 this middle number plus the 5 we have gotten that gives us 55 all right so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. So to find 50, the one at the middle. So to find 50, we're going to have 55 here minus 40. That gives us 15. Okay. Now, remember, we did, uh, we had a number multiplied by 2 here and another number multiplied by the resulting number dividing by 2 here. Now, in this case, we're going to ask ourselves, what are these two numbers that when you add them up, you would have 15, more like your factors, right? Well, just like you're factorizing out. When you add them up, you would have 15. And remember, these two numbers, when you divide the larger one by 2, it must give you the smaller one, okay? Because here, that's exactly what happened here. When you divide 10 by 2, you would get 5. And when you multiply 5 by 2, you would have your 10, okay? So here, those two numbers are 10 and 5, such that when you add 10 and 5, you would get 15. And when you divide this 10 by 2, you will get 5. And when you multiply 5 by 2, you have your 10. Okay? So that's what we're going to be uh, working on. So in this case, what you would simply uh, do is the bigger number must be added to the 40 here. So we're going to have 10 plus this 40. That gives us... 50 that's what we're looking for or you have your 55 here your 55 here minus the smaller number that gives us 50 okay so that is it for this example so we're going to be trying out the same pattern for uh, this other example and see if we're going to arrive at similar answer. 
So here we're going to find 12. Okay. So for 12 here, we have 21 minus 18. That gives us 3. And this 3, remember, we multiplied by 2 here. So 3 times 2, that gives us 6. So don't forget, 18 minus 6, we have our 12. So this is correct. So to find 21, we have 18 here minus 12. That gives us 6. Okay, so 6 divided by 2, that gives us 3. So 18, the number at the middle, plus the 3 we've gotten, that gives us our 21. Okay, so to find 18, we have 21 here minus 12, that gives us our 9. Now, let's look out for two numbers. When you add them up, you have your 9, okay? And when you divide the larger number by 2, you have the smaller number, okay? And these numbers, we have 6 and 3, okay? 6 and 3. So, 6 and 3, when you add 6 and 3, you have your 9, okay? And when you divide 6 by 2, you have your 3 and when you multiply 3 by 2 you also have your 6 okay so we're going to go ahead with this now remember we're adding the larger number here to the smaller number in our example right so we have here 6 plus 12 here that gives us 18 so this is our 18 or you can likely say 21 minus 3 that would give us 18 as well all right don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems bye for now